I. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. I. Right, y'all see what's going on here? As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, this video today is dealing with your boy J. Prince Jr. And how he walks out upset Texas Pops because his artist finesse two times ATL show is canceled. All due to Fifth Ward Mob Ties having something to do with takeoffs untimely demise now word is no one affiliated to j prince jr and his brother jazz mob ties they not able to perform at atl at this point the only person y'all already know is drake y'all already know that drake he's able to perform anywhere he goes but finesse two times he don't get that same love you understand but we all know it's all due to takeoff being shot up in h-town at jazz prince private party event and how the loss of takeoff did not only shake the rap game but the city of atlanta as a whole because because most folks from the ATL, they knew the Migos. They followed them. They grew with them since the first time they stepped into the rap industry. So with that, most folks, they knew Takeoff to be a cool, laid-back cat who minded his own business by staying in his own lane, which made people gravitate to Takeoff even more. So when Takeoff was pronounced deleted, the people wanted to know when, where, and who did it. Going back, the reason why I did this video, because J. Prince Jr. artist Finesse Two Times thought he had a red carpet treatment to perform in the ATL. At first he did. When Finesse Two Times got out the feds, J. Prince Jr. had folks doing shows all over Houston, his hometown Memphis, and the ATL. Especially when he linked up with a few cats from Atlanta to do music, including your boy Big Wop himself, aka Gucci Man. But now J. Prince Jr. Mob Ties affiliates having their hands tied up in what happened with Takeoff and Duke is putting a bad light on Finesse Two Times because the association he has with the Mob Ties. Now I informed y'all about two weeks ago that it would come to this when J. Prince Jr. had posted he was gonna be making moves in the ATL. Yeah, because he knew his artist finesse two times had a couple shows out there and again this was just two weeks ago but now it's coming back around and finesse two times he was guaranteed some shows out there in atlanta but now because what happened with takeoff ain't nobody trying to mess with that man nobody from atlanta is trying to make it seem like they tied in with the mob ties and that's real talk before we get into it as always let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to takeoff condolences to his family and much love to all my folks in the atl Quavo, Offset, Lingo, y'all stay up out there, my guys. Same thing goes for Chicago's own Duke the Jeweler. Rest in peace to Duke the Jeweler. Condolences to his family and much love to all my folks in Chicago. I see the comments and a lot of people saying, why you keep linking up what happened with Duke to what happened with Takeoff? Because again, they was both surrounded by the Mob Ties affiliates. You understand? And at the same time, they were both invited out to these functions. That's the reason why I got to let you guys know, hey, man, it's something deeper that's going down with the mob ties. Because, again, for these two guys to get set up the way they did, it shouldn't have happened like that. And that's real talk, man. So let's get back to the story. Like I told y'all, man, everybody wanted to know when takeoff got set up, when, where, and who did it. All right? So the when, where, and who is the reason why it's hard for Finesse Two Times to perform in ATL. And how J. Prince Jr. thought calling his pops was going to resolve the issue of his artist Finesse Two Times not being able to perform in ATL. Now, let me break it down for those unaware of what's going on. So by me breaking down the when, where, and the who, you guys can understand my viewpoints. The when is the date, which was the night of October the 31st. I know a lot of people, even though reporters say November the 1st, to not make it seem all creepy and spooky because a lot of situations was going down around October the 31st, man. Even including what happened with Shanquella Robinson, man. When she took that trip out to Mexico with her friends. Come on, man. That was around Halloween. But yeah, let's get back to J. Prince Jr. Mob Ties having something to do with takeoff untimely demise. The where is in Houston at a Billard's bowling spot in the Fifth Ward. Now, the dice game popped off around 12 a.m. and the shooting occurred around 2.30 a.m. Y'all have to understand that takeoff was not the only person hit. There were two others. One, was in critical condition and the other one did not make it so y'all best believe that they families is pressing the issue on jay prince and his son's mob ties affiliates which goes into the who all planned by jay prince jr or his brother jazz private b-day but jay prince jr chose who was invited and he picked the location so now the question is who up the blicky to send up takeoff and the others at the private party now we know that three people up blickies at first they say it was all on Migo bands then when folks see the footage they spot Lil Cam fifth next to takeoff up in the blicky so people automatically thought it was Lil Cam fifth the Lil Cam fifth got turned in once Lil Cam fifth was turned in Patrick Clark, better known as DJ Pat, was stated to be the actual shooter. 
Now you have a lot of people speaking on that and saying DJ Pat, he may have taken that bag in order to take the rap for this whole case. Now with all that dealing with the when, where, and the who, the main question now is why. Why were these guys so adamant to up the blicky at a private event? And why did Takeoff out of all people is the one to get hit with the blicky? When Takeoff was the one that was telling people, hey man, we came here for a good time. We ain't coming to start no beef with nobody or to get in no type of nonsense that we can't come back from. And right now, dealing with what happened, it's hard for Quavo, J Prince Jr. and his brother Jazz to come back for what happened with Takeoff. And the people know that it was Takeoff informing Quavo that it was time to leave. But again, it didn't matter what Takeoff said. If Quavo and J Prince Jr. are having a heated discussion that spills overboard to someone even wanting to up a blicky, now that's the problem, man. Now Lil Cam Fifth, he feels he upped the blicky to protect J Prince Jr. Because that was his job duty. Same thing went for Migo Benz. He feel like he was protecting Quavo and Takeoff. That's the whole reason why he upped the blicky. But DJ Pat, people trying to understand why was he itching to shoot anyone? Now the reason folks feel is deeper than what we think it is with the mob ties, especially if you include what happened with Chicago Jeweler Duke with what happened with Takeoff, then y'all gonna understand the conclusion that people was coming to when it's pertaining to the mob ties affiliates and saying, hey man, you got two highly successful, very intelligent, influential businessmen in their respective fields getting set up by their own people. Now that's a problem, man. That's a problem that us as a people, we got to handle that, man. And that's real talk because these guys, they were told to check in the hospitality security and the support team they got the opposite so when these guys don't return back home to their families who y'all think they gonna question yeah they're going right to jay prince and his son's mob ties affiliates and that's the whole reason why jay prince he's been doing everything in his power to try to push another narrative and say no nah, it's not my sons it may be the guys that hang around them but it's not them because again like i told you guys before if anybody put this on jay prince sons it's automatically going to go on him. That's the whole reason why he was hiding Lil' Cam Fifth. And at the same time, once they turned in Lil' Cam Fifth, they already knew who they gave the bag to to make it seem like he had something to do with Takeoff being shot up. And I'm talking about DJ Pat. Yeah, folks right. That's the reason why, not just coming up in the rap game, but in the world as a whole, you got to watch who you associate yourself with. I don't care if you've been knowing somebody for 10 to 20 years. If they get into some BS... And you always known to hang around that dude, then trust me, you're going to automatically be guilty by association. But let's flip it. If you hang around somebody that's known to be organized and calculated with their moves, and that's how people going to view you as well. But again, this ties back to you got to watch who you associate yourself with. Like folks said, what Finesse Two Times is experiencing at this moment is because the mob ties actions, not Finesse Two Times himself. Trust me, Finesse Two Times, he not trying to go back to the feds. All because of J. Prince Jr.'s shenanigans. Like folks stated, Finesse two times had a plan and he stuck to it. Even made headlines on social media when he apologized to Moneybag Yo for their past fallout. Because Finesse two times acknowledged the fact that he wasn't mature or had the right state of mind to understand the game that Moneybag Yo was trying to give him pertaining to the rap industry. Now, in my opinion, I think Finesse two times should go back to mostly hanging around Moneybag Yo and distant himself from the mob ties in this current time in order to get back to doing shows in the ATL. Because the only way them folks from the ATL is somewhat going to forgive the mob ties if J. Prince Jr. get locked up for what happened with Takeoff and Duke the Jeweler. Again, y'all just have to follow what's going on. Even dealing with that, J. Prince Jr. and his mob ties, they didn't already dug themselves too deep, man. Because again, everything that went on at that event that led to Takeoff Untimely Demise is what a lot of people in Atlanta is discussing. Because they thought that J. Prince had taught his sons better than that. But at the same time, we know this is not the pop's fault. But again, he's still trying to control the narrative based around what happened with Takeoff and Duke the Jeweler. So until their families get justice... The people want answers pertaining to what happened, man. Why you got guys around you that's itching to up the blicky? And with that, folks are speaking on the fact that, hey, man, with all the money y'all got, y'all should be hiring professional security and not your homeboys from the hood. Because, again, we seeing the results. And trust and believe, if you had somebody professional there, it wouldn't have went that route. They ain't got guys from both sides. They got blickies. So instead of them trying to use every defense mechanism not to up the blicky, that's the first thing they're going for. That's how you could tell the guys was not professional. When you hire professional security, them going for their blicky, that's their last step is to up the blicky. Because again, 
they understand the responsibilities that it comes with. But we got more in store. But as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.